Morning, gang. We are in the middle, well, middle. It's the start of our first heat wave of the summer. So it is 80 bazillion degrees outside. I am hiding in the house with the AC on. Well, I have it set at 78. I'm showing some self-control and sharing because honestly, I like it about 70. But it's still cooler than outside. Just gonna have some coffee. Yeah, that's right. I'm drinking hot coffee in a heat wave. My father-in-law used to say, if you drink hot coffee, it raises your internal temperature and then the exterior temperature doesn't feel quite so bad. Pretty sure he was full of poo-poo, but that's okay. So today we're going to talk about this mash and fleece that I got in all these beautiful colors with all these beautiful curls. And this is an extreme length mashem. So what can you do with extreme length mashem or tease water or whatever you get? Well, you can make yarns. You can make extreme tail spun so that all the tails hang down and all these beautiful, beautiful curls. You can make a lock spun textured yarn and you get all this gorgeous texture it's fun you can comb it out for use as doll hair now this mashem a little too fuzzy to use as doll hair but a tease water if it's extreme length would look amazing as doll hair um, people like to use it to root in uh real life type dolls because it's it's like a hair so you can style it and wash it and keep it beautiful and it feels wonderful i would not use this mashem but definitely um there's some tease waters i would use <clears throat> you can also felt your locks these are just little samples i whipped up sitting in front of the tv so you can felt your locks i just needle felt at the end see it's just a chunk of felt I just quickly needle felt it to work with so you can needle felt your ends and have this rainfall look of all these beautiful locks so you could like needle felt them along the edge of a shawl or you know onto gloves for a really cool look you know there's a million uses for it if you felt um, you can use them like this so I have just needle felted pulled it in needle felted just to give it this this texture that you can see. So in an art piece um, for trees or animals, you could actually give them this beautiful texture. So locks are so much fun to work with. Just get creative. That's what I do. But what we're going to discuss is the making of the yarns, of course. Now, it's all well and good to make the yarns, but then what do you do with them once they're made? This textured yarn is lock spun. Now, this is not the mashem that we're working with. This was, I think, a Cotswold. Anyways, I got this idea that I wanted to make a nice wool throw for my for my rug yeah a nice wool throw for my couch and i was spinning bfl locks and then as i got them done i would add them to the blanket well that was all well and good until a kitty cats discovered it and then they stole it but this is lock spun bfl and this is as far as i've gotten on this project because as you can see the kitty cats have claimed it now these were singles and you can see that it's definitely sort of half felting half fuzzing up and stuff so I would definitely ply this if I was going to do it again because if I'm putting all that work in I want it to last so this is now my kitty cats napping blanket yes they are spoiled. Did you see the catio? They're spoiled. Oop, almost pulled my lamp off the shelf. 
Then we get into using them in fashion pieces. Now I haven't sewed my ends in on this so it might look a little extra messy, but this is a shawl I made. So you can see this is just a hand spun alpaca leading into a textured yarn to give it those color pops and then into this fringe of extreme tail spun yarn. Oh, there we go. Now this is not something that can be commercially made. You're not going to get that look from anything commercially made. You can only make this yourself. And I think this is amazing. I love it. Just imagine it over a black winter coat. Oh, the color flares would be gorgeous and it would be so nice and warm. So I, I just love this. And it's a very simple pattern. Uh, cloud on her shoulders, I think it's called. But simple is best when you're working with textured or tailspun. Because really what you want to do is showcase the yarn, not the pattern. I'm also working on one in crochet to prove that you can do it in either medium. And it will all work great. So let's get started. We're going to get our locks ready to spin. And then we will spin ourselves an extreme tailspun I will do a textured yarn tutorial and then we will do a demonstration on how to actually use it. Don't be afraid of your tailspun guys. You put all that work into it. You want to use it. So don't be afraid. Just get creative. All right, let's make some extreme tailspun yarn. Do you like my little Canada Day shorts? Don't mind my lily white legs. So let me just put these aside. Brought so much stuff to show you. What I did was I went through my fleece and I picked locks. And I took the prime pieces like this. Okay, I kept some of it back so I could demonstrate. So what I'm doing, you just kind of pick through the fleece, you find the piece you want. Okay, I'm gonna work with just this little chunk here. So you have your chunk of fleece and you can see all these beautiful locks. They're all dyed and gorgeous, but they're also all kind of attached at the base. And you wanna to try to keep as much of the lock intact as you can. So, generally what I do is I'll find a little bunch that kinda of wanna to be together. Hold this, grab your tips, and pull. And you might get some little fuzzy bits or second cuts on the end. Pull them off. I save them. They can be combed, carded, whatever, and used. And then you can see that it wants to be two curls. So I'll just split them apart. And you can see how long the fuzzy bit got. I prefer only about this much fuzzy and then the rest in a perfect curl. But we can work with this. All right, and then we'll just set those aside for the moment. We're gonna go back in, grab another one, pull it off. There's our lock. I generally find if you give it a good fast tug, it often comes off much better than if you give it a slow pull. But let's test the theory. I'm just gonna slowly pull this one off. These are so long, you can't even see them all in one picture. There's only about, about three inches of good curl. I'm gonna pull one that was right beside it, only this time we're gonna do it fast. Nope, doesn't seem to really make a difference, but I just like to pull fast, so that's what I'm gonna do. You find your tips, hold them, hold down your fleece, and that'll pull your locks right out of your fleece and set them aside. Oh, that didn't go so well. Somebody's tangled really badly in there. There we go.
Now, because these are fuzzy so far up, I would probably use these more for lock spinning than for extremely t extreme tail spun, but it's up to you. You make your own choices based on your fleece. All right, let's see. There we go. All right, so basically just work your way through doing that, pulling off your locks. Now you're gonna get sections that aren't quite as pretty curls, like this. There's some pretty curls. And then these ones are a little fatter and fluffier and less curly. I usually set those aside and I use them to spin textured yarn or I comb it for a regular yarn or you can use it for felting and brush it out for hair. Like there's a million things you can do with it. Just because the curl isn't perfect doesn't mean it isn't usable. It just means that we're picking the best curls to do our extreme tail spun from. That's probably going to be maybe a quarter of what you have in your fleece. All right, let's put this aside. And I will show you my prepared locks. Now I've gone through and I've prepped all these locks for spitting. These are so gorgeous. So you can see how long the curly bit is on this. So this is exactly what I want. But in order to make a yarn, I need a fuzzy bit. So you just make the ends fuzzy. And the way I do that, like look at how beautiful these are. So pretty. So the way we do that is, let me just find one that's not extremely fuzzy. <laughs> okay. All of mine have really fuzzy ends now because I've gotten all the premium stuff out and combed it already. But basically, this is just a little slicker brush for pets. You just take your lock, wrap it around your hand if it's long enough, but keep your curly bit way far away. And then just comb out the end. Now, you want this fluffy because this is the bit we're going to spin into a yarn. And this is the bit that's going to hang down. So if this isn't fluffy, it's not going to cling together and make a yarn. So once you have all your tails prepped, it's time for spinning. <laughs> 